Hi there, welcome to the second episode today of my 10 minute moan. And the topic of this 10 minute moan is something that appears to me of a very good example of potential to tier judiciary. Now this is a story about a man who was arrested during riots down in Bristol. So I'll go from today backwards, right? Today he went to court and been charged earlier. So today, in the Bristol Post, the local newspaper, the headline is Suspended Jail Term for Violent Disorder After Bristol Riot. A total of 17 people have now been jailed following last month's far-right protest. <coughs> well, that's not technically true, because this man wasn't jailed. A man has been jailed for his role in last month's riot in Bristol City Centre. Mohammed Osman of Easton admitted to throwing a can at protesters in Castle Park on Saturday the 3rd of August. So I'm kind of guessing he wasn't a part of the protest, right? He was in some counter-protest or just innocently watching and threw a can at them. The 37-year-old pleaded guilty to violent disorder and was sentenced earlier today at Bristol Crown Court to a suspended two-year prison sentence, suspended for nine months, and was also ordered to carry out 150 hours of unpaid work. Community service, right? So, as long as a good boy in the next nine months, he doesn't go to jail. He's got 150 hours community service for throwing a can at somebody at a protest. Detective Chief Inspector Tom Herbert said, So far, 45 people have been arrested as part of an investigation into the disorder on the 3rd of August, two days ago, with 32 having been subsequently been charged. While Osman's offending may seem relatively minor, this is the police chief inspector. That's minor. Throwing cans at people is minor. It contributed to a large-scale disorder on that day and was unacceptable. Wow. We've seen people have jail sentences for standing watching protests. This guy has threw cans at them and get a suspended sentence, which you'll probably never serve, and 150 hours community service. No custodial sentence. On Tuesday, September 3rd, sorry, I'm saying August, that was last month. On Tuesday, September 3rd, Avon and Somerset Police also announced that four other people received custodial sentences, totalling more than seven years for the role in the disorder in Brighton last month. Thomas Medler, 24, of Loch Lees, Mark Donovan, 40, of Wells, Daniel Locke, 31, of Kingswood and a 15 year old had all earlier pleaded guilty to violent disorder having been part of groups which threatened violence and caused others to fear for their safety during the disorder on the 3rd of August. It now means 17 people have received custodial sentences for violent disorder following the riot. So it looks to me violent disorder that's the same as the other guy and having been part of a group which used threatening violence and caused others to fear their safety. So if you were in this group you get a custodial sentence. If you're a guy throwing stuff at that group, you don't get a custodial sentence. If that doesn't seem to anybody as a two-tier system, I don't know what is. Because that is such a mental thing. So I can only suggest that there's one, two, three, four people there being charged and they were given custodials. One of them's a 15-year-old, so I'm not sure how you would look at that. But the police officer said up here, they were totaling seven years for the other, the other four people, right? So they've got a couple of years each, haven't they? And the boy at 15's probably got a year. And to be fair, they've suspended his two-year sentence, so the two years is probably what you get for that down in Bristol court, right? But if you're part of the group here, you get custodial. If you're somebody here throwing cans at them, charged with the same thing. 150 hours community service. But the really weird thing, right? The really, really bizarre thing is, when I was Googling this guy's name, it brought up some different newspaper reports. But it also brought up the report in the same newspaper, Bristol Live, right, from the 29th of August. So this is three more men charged over Bristol riots. Read this. Yeah, this is the best bit, right? Three more men have been named and charged in connection with the far-right riot in Bristol earlier this month bringing the total number of people charged to 28. The three men charged in this far-right riot, according to the paper, Tom Thomas Arnold, 30, of Clevedon, Thomas Medler, 24, of Lochlees, 
and Mohammed Osman, 37, of Easton. This far right riot, right? With Mohammed in it, right? So, isn't it bizarre how the media, when it was a riot, is far right, but this guy goes to jail. He, it's obvious when you read the last, which happens to be the, the first one I read, these guys were in the group, they were in the protesters, and that's Mohammed Osman wasn't, right? But when they were all getting arrested, it was all far right. It's a far right riot. Three more men have been charged in connection with the far right riot, right? I don't know what world I'm living in anymore. It's becoming unrecognisable. And I just can't for the life of me understand how this guy, lots of people will be make their own minds up, right? But this guy gets 150 hours community service. And this guy's doing the same thing who were probably at the other side of the street get what appears to be two-year custodial sentences at the same day in court. The exact same court on the same day for something that happened at the same scene, right? What is going on, right? I mean, so we've seen we've seen it. We have heard people been passed on to past custodial sentences for being witnesses at a protest that turned to a riot. They didn't do anything. They were just there. We've seen the 72-year-old woman down in Downing Street who just didn't realise there was an order to get the area clear and happened to be there. Arrested. I don't know the outcome of that one yet, but <laughs> this guy throws a can, and I'm thinking, is it a beer can? Is it a tin of beans? I don't know. Right, but he's flung a can. No. There's a can. See that full of liquid before I open it? That's giving you a heavy dunt. Right, it's giving me a heavy dunt because I've just drank it and it's a high energy drink. But you know what I'm saying? That A can of that size, even a can of that size, full of liquid, flung, bang, that'd be pretty sore. Now, I don't know what Mohammed's choice of can was, right? But I kind of think it wouldn't be empty because you try throwing an empty can, it goes two feet, right? It's falling, it's landing there, right? So I'd imagine it need to be full. And what, I don't know, is it a can with vegetables in it, beans, soup? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking it's probably been a drinks can. That's kind of sore, right? Getting a dunt with that must be sore. 150 hours community service. Now, the guys who were given custodials, it just says that they were, what was the word then? Part of a group. Oh, they, they violent disorder. So I don't know what they've done, right? It doesn't describe what they've done. Might have been throwing cans at people, right? But they're in the clink. They're in the, they're in a jail just now. They've left court today in a wagon away to jail, right? This guy, same thing, same place, same time, throwing the can in the opposite direction, right? He's away up the road. He's away home. He's probably sitting having his dinner the night, wondering what's on these standards, right? But we don't have a two-tier policing. We do. I can't say this is two-tier policing because the police done what they should have done. They've arrested them. Right? They've arrested pro probably by either side of the road here. But the judicial system, once we get them into court and processed, if that's not a two tier judiciary system, I don't know what is. And I, I cannot believe. See, when I sent this story, sorry, I think I've seen it next actually, somebody commenting about it, I thought, I can't be right. That is. And like, when was that first? So that story's today. The first story was 29th of August, six days ago, seven days ago, sorry. That guy was a part of a far-right riot, right? Not the day, not the far-right ones, they're away to jail, right? Excuse me. You, hi, could you sit over there, please? We're going to have a different type of court for this guy here, right? So you have this evidently no far-right. No. So you sit over there, could you, ah, you have a seat there, and you... I you sit over there with you, and you kid, you're 15. Ah, you go and sit at this side, but we'll deal with you different again. Right, Mohammed, let's be having you. What did you do, son? Okay, don't do it again. 150 years community service, but I'm going to give him a custodial. So I'm giving you a custodial as well, but I'm deferring yours for nine months. So stay out of trouble for nine months, son, and you're not going to jail with them. All right, how's that? How'd you like the apples? Right, you just come up. Right, okay, what did you do? Aye, same time as Sam, same place as Sam, same sort of crime as Sam. Aye, two years. Up you go. You, two years. Up the road. You, two years. Up the road. You, son, we'll take you to the children's panel. Right, we'll give you probably 12 months in a Boston. Right? Mohammed, he's sitting having his dinner the now. Right? <laughs> oh, 
Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, get a thumbs up, please. If you've not already done so, please sub subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Tell me about your comments below. Give me a laugh down there, right? Please do that. And most importantly of all, unless you're part of this two-tier environment we're creating in communities, see everyone else. Have a great day. Cheerio, bye now. Thank you.